Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee and Cookies. My name is Lindsay, and today is Thursday. Thursday, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Today's show is sponsored by Rookie.io. Everything from reputation management to lead generation, websites, funnels, and automation. Get your time back with Rookie.io. So, Nick, Thursday, I know, right? <laughs> He's giving me this look. Today is Thursday and it's it's gonna be an amazing day. Are you jumping on at all today? Or is this, is this the Good Lindsay morning, everyone. Show welcome show welcome to Coffee and Cookies. I hope you thank you guys for tuning in. It's Thursday. It's gonna be a beautiful day. We have memes to talk about. We have things to talk about. We have an audience to interact with. And I'm very excited <laughs> you guys get to join us. I'm still putting on all the technology because I'm running late. And I was like, oh my goodness, where did all the time go? And Lindsay's like, it's it's nine oh one. Are we gonna have the show? <laughs> no no no. no. I, oh, I, I, I said I oh, said where where all the time I go? That. Oh, it's behind us. It's behind us. <laughs> Holy cheesy! <laughs> Holy cheesiness! Goodness gracious! Ah, mm-hmm. oh, that yep. is the Lindsay. That that's, is a Lindsay. That's Lindsay, me. you're doing so good with your intros. Thank you. I can't wait. So first off, um, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait. I, I can't wait for us to have our first like guest on here. Nick, do you need? Your coffee. Yes. Yes. Oh yes, my gosh. I'm drinking it and I would show you the other side of this <laughs> mug, but I'm not because they're not actually sponsoring the show yet. So they could stay on my side of the mug, not where the audience can see it. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Funny, funny. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yummy. I know someone's gonna yell at me for not having the lower thirds on, but so the lower thirds are on. You know what? Nick's trying Morning, new Taylor. coffee. Did you notice it's in a warm mug and not a cold cup? Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying new things. Yep. Trying new things. It's kind of crazy. Trying to figure out what 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 espresso machine he wants to get. Oh my gosh! <laughs> right? Like like we need There's to have so battle of the options. espresso machines. You want to? It, it would be fun that people come on here and just bring like everyone bringing an espresso an espresso machine. Mm-hmm. We'll just taste test what machine makes the right. best espresso. So here's here to have a true taste test. You have to have the same beans in each machine. Yes. Okay. Just making I don't sure know how we're gonna do that. I don't know how we're gonna do that, set. but but uh, yeah, we should do it. All right, so so you ready? Are you ready? Taylor, do you have an espresso? Nespresso. Oh, I think that's what I'm drinking out of today. That's. I think that's that what I'm. I think that's what I'm machine testing. That made your coffee. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. It's a Nespresso. It's a little tiny thing. It's so cute. <laughs> it is. It's like I wouldn't think of it. It's like a. It's like a Keurig. Yeah. It's like a Keurig for, for shots, for espresso shots. <laughs> it's like, yeah, not those yes. kind of shots. But. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the, the one thing I like about that machine, though, is normally when you do a Keurig, like you get one cup of coffee, then you can't use a little container again. Actually, got, oh my gosh, I have four shots in here. Uh-oh, I hope you're ready for this today. I'm going to get all kinds of work done. It's going to be greatness. I'm so excited <laughs> that you're going to get all kinds of work done. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what? Let's let, here, and here, here's, 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 here's why. If you're like, well, Nick, that's your company. Why is Lindsay telling you what to do? So mm. when you're the visionary of a company, okay, yes, you lead the company, but you have to have enough humility and honor to know that the integrator makes sure may, will make sure that everything gets done. So you lead the company, but during the workday, you then report to the integrator. Because as a visionary, and you visionaries know this, you go, boom, boom, distraction, 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 distraction. So you need your integrator to keep you in line. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as a visionary, you have, you have, you have to, you have to hop. You got to hop from leading the company to being, to being in the company, to following. Okay. And sometimes, sometimes, right. For yeah, four shots of espresso, I'm going to be pretty lit. Yes, See, yes. And, and there we go. Right. Like I'm right into the comments yeah. and then I'm right back to you guys. Like, okay. Pew, pew. Exactly. <laughs> so, so just, just know this and you want to, maybe we should, maybe we should have a, a little, a little thing, a little, little share about this, but today you want to, know what, I found this meme. I found this meme and I'm, I'm going to share it with everyone real quick. Boop. And solo it up. Okay, so this meme says your ideal daily routine according to your chronotype. And I have no idea what a chronotype is. I just thought this would be fun to talk about. So I'm going to zoom in real quick. And the first two that we have are the bear and the wolf. And I'm going to actually pull off the lower third so everyone can see it. 
and you you, you can see Chrono, like chronotype. Sorry, so chronotype oh. is the natural inclination of your body to sleep at a certain time. Oh wow! So there's actually like science behind this. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness! All right, so here we go. Right, I'm gonna go back over here. So the bear wakes up at seven in the morning, does deep work from ten to two. Easier. Oh, this is really interesting. Easier task: relax in a wine, prepare for bed. Bed by eleven. Okay. The wolf wakes up at nine. Ooh, I like that. Okay, easier task. But from five to nine, creative projects. Interesting. Okay, the line wakes up at six. Ooh, no, I'm actually, I'm liking that better. <laughs> Deep work from eight to 12. Complete easier task. Relax and unwind, prepare for bed, bed by 10. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Ooh, hold on, dolphins. Wakes up at six. Completes easy task, but deep work from 10 to 12. Okay, so here we go, right? We, we, we have four animals, the bear, the wolf, the lion, and the dolphin. Like, uh, who came up with a freaking dolphin? Like, you did good. It's like you have all these, it's like, it's like, it's like you have all these predators, and then you have that dolphin. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you a dolphin? So, so here we go, right? I'm a lion. <laughs> Taylor, you're a lion. If I, it, whether I gave you this or not, like you're just, <laughs> you're just you, you're, you're, you just like to be in charge and grar. I don't know where that came from. Ignore that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, but seriously, like, is there, is there really any, is there really any, any truth to this or did someone well, go think about your wife? What's your wife? My wife. Yeah. Like she, I know she wakes up early. No, she my is wife tinies, is a wolf. But she, like she, she would does rather not, not wake up. She early. would love to wake up at nine <laughs> o'clock. Like absolutely, and then and then go to bed at midnight. Actually, I, I'm. Dolphins I'm more... are dangerous to sharks. Ooh, good point, Amber. Good point. You want it? dolphins? They what? actually yes. What are you talking about? There's no sharks on here. <laughs> what about squirrels? <laughs> Oh, that's good what, morning, that's Gary. A nick. That's a nick. Nick's a squirrel. <laughs> wow. You want to know what? I had a very interesting comment go into my head, and the filter caught it. So I'm good not going to say it on okay, camera. Good job. <laughs> See, that's what my filter forgot to do when I said that. Yeah. <laughs> it. it it's got a bigger net on so, mine. <laughs> Some more stuff flies through. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, this is going to be a great day. I'm loving it. So it's funny. Yes. Okay. So yes, just if you know, in case you did not know, dolphins mm -hmm. are dangerous to sharks. I didn't know that. Dolphins hey, can actually flip our, flip our screens. Oh yes. Yeah, so sorry, your Please. highness. I'm just you know, looking there off we go. the side here. Like you normally do. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the other animals are pre well. You want? I guess dolphins are predators too. They eat fish. We just don't think of them as. They're not predators to us. Not not like sharks normally, are predators. Like, normally, dolphins are nice. Yeah. Bears are nice. Yeah. Wolves. I mean, we we have dogs, so we've tamed wolves. I saw a guy wrestle with a lion. You know, I've heard that lions are just big kitty cats. Have you seen those Instagram like? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. I'll I'll I would let you go. Totally, I would totally love to tame a lion. That'd be so much fun. You and Amber. Yeah. Big kitty cat. Yeah. Big paw I'd the size of your actually, face. You know what? Tristan asked me a great question the other day. <laughs> he said, why are lions the the king of the jungle or the, wherever uh -huh. they're the, the kings of? Because they don't like to go in the water. Why aren't tigers the kings? Because they like to swim. Have you ever seen a lion in a tiger fight? No. Have you? The lion will win. Why? Just... Just you want to know what? Go ahead. What do the bird is called? Is a bear? <laughs> uh, yes, lions are my spirit. I, I like that, Taylor. So do you like taking naps? Because I know lions like to take naps. Like they like to eat, but they also they like their nap, they do time. Like nap time. They like yeah. nap time. I yes. If we're going by that, I'm totally a lion because I like to sunbathe in the windows. <laughs> So, when I get so, cold, so, I go downstairs and stand in the sun. Yes. So truth be told, at lunch, uh, Lindsay will go and she'll find the place in the sun. And yeah. she'll be like, I'm sitting here for like 20 minutes. I'm just going to wait. Yeah. She will calls just it her. fix my lunch and I'm just going to wait right here. <laughs> what do you call it? Naps are life. Um, I'm sun. I'm. 
I'm you're getting your, you're getting yeah, your yes sun, I, that's not right sunbathing isn't right but um <laughs> i don't even know like right and it's okay you don't have to know yeah. it's okay i call it something different every so time. i so yeah. i didn't even know that there was a su- such a thing as a chronotype like that's that's very interesting mm-hmm. you want I, got, I have to change the dolphin though it just it doesn't fit so i found this other when i searched it um 50 of people are bears 10 to 20 percent are lions 15 to 20 percent are wolves and 10 percent are dolphins oh like there's a real study behind this i really thought you were going to say something other than dolphins no no all of them are that's that's the four animals on all of these things that have popped up but it's funny because (laughs) so they this little image that i found it says wait time bedtime and when it's most productive those Uh are the three main things that your little graphic shows so yeah, dolphins. I'm going to show the graphic real quick. Dolphins, wake time is irregular. Bedtime is irregular. <laughs> and they're most productive late morning. <laughs> so their dolphins are just not as consistent as the rest of them. According to whatever you're reading. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if it was like some super high, like super, super research supported site? Right, right. And then you're like, oh, there's actually, but still, still, like, you did good. You have the bear, you have the wolf, you have the lion, and I just, the dolphin just. The lion is also called the early bird. What? Mm hmm. Amber, you're a wolf. I know you, I, I know Amber likes to wake up. She, she, wolves she are, will wake up in the morning, but hi, Dad. Wolves Morning. are night owls. Mm-hmm. Oh. Dolphins are erratic sleepers. Erratic. Okay. And what, what about bears? bears? You haven't talked about bears at all. Well, they don't have anything like that was. Uh, most of us are bears. We get up with the sun and go to bed when the sun goes down. Daily schedules are built around the timing, which suits bears. Is that why and bears get so grumpy when we do daylight savings time changes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bear. No. <laughs> because it, hours, it messes with days, you. Entertainment, all of that gets fit in. Um, we're social. They're social creatures and fun to be with. Oh, never mind. Sleeping you're not a bear. Is le- <laughs> Sleeping <laughs> is less commonly a problem for bears. Sleeping, like falling asleep. Well, here we go, right? I, I, I like Taylor's. Uh, naps are life, but when you have children who don't take naps, they steal nap time. <laughs> they steal nap time. <laughs> they steal nap time. <laughs> you, you, a- Amber is like, it's funny because, a- you know, so if you, if you're new to the show, Amber is my wife mm-hmm. and yes, like the mornings till I get like two cups of coffee till she's had her one. It used to be one cup. Now it's two cups. I think it's the kids. Um, she like, like, don't, don't talk to her. You'll get growled at. Mm-hmm. You'll get. A, you don't need to get growled at anymore. She'll just give you a look, <laughs> and you're like, "I'm so scared. I'm gonna run away." You know, it's funny when I we so Nick and I carpool together, and we drop our kids off. So I come in. We come into their house in the morning, and I get hugs and "Good morning, honey" from Amber. Like, what do you do to Amber that she's like all growly? Because to I've you given because... her her cups of coffee. <laughs> By the time you get there, the oh, coffee has oh, been drank. Oh. She has been woken up. The beast has arisen. And now it's nice and fluffy. Wow. <laughs> kind of like Red. Have you guys seen this Turning Red movie? Mm-hmm. Like, in the beginning, like, she gets all angry and stuff. And then towards the middle of the movie, like, the kids are like, oh, my goodness, you're so cute and adorable. Yes. Like, I, I, you're welcome. I get the beast up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Amber's the sweetest. <laughs> she is absolutely is. She absolutely is. And it's just it's it's funny because um so one of the ways that I enjoy saying I I honor my wife is I make her coffee and I bring it to her. Mm-hmm. And I really think my daughters appreciate that because you know, mommy gets her coffee. <laughs> they don't know that they appreciate it. They but don't they know, do. but they do. They absolutely do. But no, I mean, Amber. Amber is really productive at night. Um, she just like honestly, like if, if she had, if, if we didn't have work uh-huh. and have to take the kids to school, if I had like the first two or three hours in the morning, and Amber got to get up at nine o'clock, she'd love it. That's that's my ideal Saturday. <laughs> oh. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. See, and maybe we maybe we need to talk about this because on Saturdays I go to Mighty Men, so she's still running the household. And oh, then no. on Sunday mornings, like yeah. I want to sleep in, but I think that's going to have to end. I think I'm going to have to start getting up earlier. Yeah. My kids come snuggle and that's the, that's the one Saturday. That's like Saturday morning cartoons for my kids because mom still sleeps in while they're watching their cartoons <laughs> in my bed. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait uh-huh. a second. You let your kids watch cartoons in your bed. Yep. That's how I know that they're safe and that they're going to just stay <laughs> they're there. They're not going to break something in the house. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's how I can still go to sleep. Back to sleep. Because <laughs> you, you know, as, a, as long as the cartoons are playing. Yeah, they're, they're not, happy. Choo, choo, and they're, choo, choo, choo. yeah, they're, well, no, it's not like, hey, mom. Hey, mom. Oh. Hey, mom. Hey, mom, can I have donuts? Hey, mom. <laughs> Let's watch a show. <laughs> Yes, Amber does wake up at seven thirty now, but it's mm-hmm. it, it, it's because of the kids. It's definitely not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> I figure if I poke enough, she's gonna be like, "I'm gonna come on the show. Like, we're mm-hmm. gonna have this discussion. I'm mm-hmm. gonna get in there and be on camera." Yeah. And I've told her, "I was like, you can come be on camera with us. Bring Squishy, which Squishy's my my tiniest. All my kids have nicknames. Aww, they all have nicknames. I get to hold Squishy. She would love it. Yes, she, she would. would. I know, she'd probably like be yanking. Like, she would. we might yeah. not be able to wear the headset. I'd have her on this side." Well, we might not be able to have the headsets on because she'd be like, bonk, bonk, bonk. What is this? <laughs> but that would be fun. You want Amber, why don't we, why don't we do that? Why don't, one day um, after you drop off Isla at school, come up here and we'll have like a special episode. <gasps> Maybe Dustin could come too. We got a special couple episode. <laughs> did you read the last comment? I did. I'm not going to say it out loud though. <laughs> why not? Oh, well, that's her way of, you know, getting me. I'm a uh-huh. snot. Mm-hmm. Snot of water. Mm-hmm. Diana's our squishy too. Oh, I know, right, 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 Taylor. Oh my Did goodness! You hear that? Did you read that though? For the last baby, that means you guys can't have any more kids. You know, <laughs> is that, that still, has been still a still up for debate. I, that, that is still up for debate. <laughs> I mean, nothing's been snipped or nipped or anything like that. So, you know, it's um, oh, it, it's one of those things where. It's it's not my choice. Mm. It is not my choice. I've told Amber if if she wants more kids, it's her body that has to go through it all. It is not my choice. Taylor said book it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a question. Why don't we have oh, an all girls funny. show? Like, let's start another show. It could be an all girls show. I'll just run the technology. And like you, Taylor, Amber can all get on camera together and I'll just I'll sit back and run the technology and insert my opinion at times. No, <laughs> it wouldn't be an all girls show if you were inserting your opinion at times. Oh, but it would be greatness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What would you call it? I don't know either. Let's just not even worry about that right now. So, oh, my phone disconnected. So, hey, I have a question for y'all. We've gone down to multiple different directions, but what animal are you or what animal do you believe that you're that you are or or that or that maybe you lean towards? And make sure to share that in the comments. Depends on the day and the season. Depends on the day. <laughs> I had another comment to that, but I'm pretty sure I would get yelled at by every woman on that's, that's in right. the comments. That's if right. I say that it was, yep. you know, is it really the season or is it really by the month, the time of the month? Both. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Combo, combo. Yeah. Here we go. Both, oh sure. my goodness. That's greatness. All right. So. Um, I had something on here. Where did my notes go? Mm-hmm. Psh. So my notes disappear. Leadership is like starting the engines. Oh no, no, it's not that. It's not no, that. It's not it, that. It's actually the first one. We haven't talked about the first one. Oh, right. That one. Like we had that on Monday. We didn't talk about it. <laughs> so we're going to talk about it today. Yeah. So we were in the office working and, uh, Nick, I had, I probably had a big sigh because Nick's like, what's, what's going on? Lindsay? <laughs> I just hit a roadblock. And Nick said, what did Nick say? I don't remember. Go ahead and tell me, tell oh, me what I said. He's like, great. I'm a roadblock remover. <laughs> I did say that. You I was did. really excited to yeah. say that. And he's like, Ooh, we should talk about this on the show. We should, <laughs> we should. All right, you guys ready to talk about this? Yeah. Okay, go so, ahead. That so was, that was your like. Yeah, I know, I know. Your, there we go. Your uh, ramp into we go. the conversation. Holy crap. I it. do not need four shots of espresso. <laughs> no. Holy Batman. 
He just did like a karate kick that y'all couldn't see, but yeah, he did. They, they saw the hands. Not, 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 not so much the leg, the leg lift. <laughs> we were having, so Amber and I were, 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 were playing karate. Hold on. <laughs> and, and I went to kick high and I'm not really that flexible. <laughs> Like, is that really as high as you could lift your leg? <laughs> and then Amber, who's really flexible, like stops her foot like this far In away from face. my head from my head. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, oh, you her. you do not need to finish your coffee. Can you just oh, but put I that am. behind your computer, please? <laughs> I don't, not my at least behind the water, right? At least maybe, maybe you mm. know, dilute the caffeine with some water. You know how when he says like he's sensitive, he just started drinking that on the show. Like y'all, I am sensitive to caffeine. That's everyone knows this. It's not. It's not like trying to hide it. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Right, I'm gonna have a triple shot when Gary comes on the show again. I'm gonna have a triple shot, and I just I'm gonna give him a triple shot, and let's and see. see what happens. Oh goodness, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm crying over here. I don't know if I'm laughing at so myself anyway, or laughing at y'all. Roadblock, okay. roadblock remover. Yeah. So I, I love doing that. Okay. So just just <laughs> are are you a roadblock creator or 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 are you a road, roadblock? roadblock remover now now before someone goes oh man like maybe i'm a creator no no no. a roadblock creator is someone who purposely puts things in other people's lives to trip them up mm -hmm. okay not someone who's discovering not someone who's working through a project and discovers a roadblock OK, but someone who is purposely trying to trip people up in life. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you when I said that, so someone who I'm trying to stay away from the comments, don't look at the comments. Yeah, don't look. They're, 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 they're moving. They're, they're moving. Yeah. OK, so the, you you had someone come to your mind and go, that person is a roadblock creator. Because that person, when, when I see them, they're constantly like. Like, like, like just just putting things in people's way to trip them up mm -hmm. or, or, or to slow them down. So, you know, when you've identified someone who does that, what do you do? And, and understand, Lindsay, I'm asking you, but I'm also asking the audience, like, what do you do when you when you're able to identify that? Or have you even thought of this? Have you like, like, seriously, like go through your mind real quick and go, oh, like, hey, this person actually helps solve things. And this person, this person for no reason somehow always seems to create problems. You know, it's funny. I thought of one, but it wasn't in my life. They're in your life. <laughs> okay, well, I, I didn't ask you to drop names. I, know, I didn't. Not drop names. I didn't. I didn't. I'm really curious as to who this is. How uh, you know. <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, what was the question? What was the main question? So, so after, you, after you've identified who this roadblock creator is. Mm-hmm. What do you like after you've identified them? How what is now your plan to start? You know, like, is this a person that you need to remove from your life because maybe they're putting Roblox in your life and you're just and you just became aware of it? I think it's the I think it's a a, a measure of boundaries. Ooh, that's having, good. having your own boundaries where the roadblocks stay outside of. Okay. Like you, they can try to put roadblocks in, but that boundary is there and it's pr protecting you from having Oh, I know that, who you're talking about now. Roadblock put in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you're talking about now. Okay. But, and then, and then, <clears throat> ooh, are the roadblocks just saying this? Well, you know, Gary, in this, in, in, in this specific scenario, I, I, I'm talking about roadblocks. Now that's, that's another good one. And maybe, maybe. Maybe, you know, maybe, hey, Gary, a next book could be Roblox or Safety Nets. What, how would you define each of those? Perfect, right? When a safety net mm -hmm. is, and, 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 oh, <clears throat> Gary, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take your safety net out of it and I'm going to put like guardrails. Like with your kids, you put guardrails on each side of the road. Mm -hmm. To make sure that they stay going down the path that you need them to go as children, right? That's something you do as a parent. Okay. Okay. A roadblock would be, you know, tripping, tripping someone up. <clears throat> 
So, so when, 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 <clears throat> when I say I'm a roadblock remover, one of my things, one of the things I love doing is someone will bring me a, pro a problem and I'm like, great, let's, how do we solve it? Mm -hmm. Great. How do we solve it? And, and what, what I've noticed now, it's not always me that has to solve it. Sometimes I just got to prompt the people that are in my life so they can talk through it so right. they can solve it themselves. And it's, it's actually really rewarding. Like sometimes I wonder if that's, if that's a direction maybe I need to go, not so much as a counselor, I don't want to be a counselor, but more as maybe a coach because well, it just, that's something that I've done time after time again. And I've just, I've noticed it works and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Like, like when, when pastor, he talks about like your divine, your defi your divine, divine fingerprint, fingerprint. Mm -hmm. and your 1%, what are the superpowers that you have that, that help other people succeed? Right. How are you, how are you deploying your best into your sphere of influence? Hmm. A roadblocker is someone who just brings up problems and prompt prompts you to solve it. Who man, that's good too. I, I so here I we feel go. Right, like a, a roadblocker might be more creating a problem. And, 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 and there we go. Right. There. So so maybe are you ready? Are you ready for Gary? I hope you're writing this down, brother. For 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 the book, maybe there's different levels of roadblockers. Mm. Okay. Maybe you have people who are just, who just put little, who put little speed bumps in the way. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you have people who, you know, put little, little, uh, potholes <sighs> in the way. Right. Like, 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 like the deep ones that like bottom out your car. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you have other people that literally like put up like a guardrail, like in the middle of the road that stops all traffic and someone has to get out and actually remove it. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I, I think, I think there's different levels of that, but but as people, as leaders, and, and as people developing into better leaders, are you a roadblock remover? Now, when I say that, are you good at problem solving? Are you good at helping people solve their problems? And, and I guess the, 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 other, the other caveat to that would be don't bring a roadblock to the table unless you've already figured out three different options to remove the roadblock. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take care of this snaz. So I'm going to let you talk for a little bit. Cause I was totally ready to talk. Yes, absolutely. Let me just jump right in here. And, um, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> this is your topic <laughs> anyway. Um, so I could definitely see different levels of road blockers in my life. I don't know that there's, you know what it made me think of? Um, I'm back. Great. I, I'm on my roll now. I'm you're good. on your roll. So, you know, have you ever played bowling on the Wii? Not like yes. the yeah, original yeah, yeah. bowling, like, like the whole, like the one that you can, you can do like tricks with. Yes. And it puts, it puts blocks, barriers in front of you. So you have to like curve yeah, your like, bowling yep, ball yep, around them. Yep. Oh my gosh. Crazy hard. That's what I pictured when you, when we're talking about this. More coffee. No. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, no. Street cone. Oh, I like that. A street cone, a speed bump, barrels, Ooh, Gary, et cetera, road blockers, we, road blocks. Hey, brother, I think we, I think we need to co-author a book together. I think this, this, because I mean, just, I mean, if, if, you, if you read Taylor's comments as well, like this is, this is something that's very relatable. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Keep, keep going, Lindsay. No, that's really all I had was like, that's what I <laughs> think of. And there are different, different sizes, different levels, different, um, obstacles mm -hmm. that come in your way. And, and I think it says a lot about you as a person, and how you respond to people that are roadblocks in your life or create roadblocks in your life. You know, do you, do you know how to handle people like that? Like, do you have those those guardrails in place that keep people from putting those in front of Ooh, you. Ooh, that's good. Or, or are it, are you like a country road where you just open? It's just open. It's just open. And, and the cows walk and, across, and, and, and the yeah, ponies like... walk across, and the donkeys walk across, and oh my goodness, right? <laughs> Next, you know, you hit something. You only know how that deer even got in front of you, but it somehow it jumped in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, 
there, there could be a whole curriculum that takes this analogy and, and you could teach people with this, right? So I'm, I'm really interested to see, to see how, well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to need to like, after the show, I'm going to need to just start d- memory dumping into a word document. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. I believe that to become a roadblock remover, that is a, that is a skill that can be developed. Mm -hmm. And I think reading the right books, getting around the right people and having the right leaders impart into you will increase the type of roadblocks you're able to remove, not just from your own life, but maybe from a business setting or maybe a family setting. Mm-hmm. Right. And then if, if you, if, if you want to take this a step further, you know, roadblocks, roadblocks don't always have to be business related. Some roadblocks can be family related. Roadblocks can be finance related. You know, you were just talking and I, I had this visual in my head about you and how you handle it. You know, people try to roadblock you all the time. Really think about that. Like people put roadblocks in your life all the time. And it's do you do you if you're a vehicle on the road and you have this roadblock, do you stop, get out, check out what it is? Or do you just say, you know what, I'm not focused on this. I'm focused on getting to this destination. I'm just going to drive around it. Or do you drive right through it? So, so in my head, it's like, there's this little speedy race car. It's going near, near, like going all around it. Right. Uh-huh. Like a little Corvette Z06, sure. maybe something like that. <laughs> and then, and then, and then you have like an 18 wheeler. And after that, in my head, it's like bulldozer. And you're just going to just like, oh, you're in the way bulldoze right through it. I don't know if I would, I mean, like not bulldoze through it, but. No, I didn't say you would. I said I would. You would. Yeah. I can totally see that. Yes. Totally see that. Right. <laughs> Right. Like some people, a little sports car. Some people are, some people are bulldozers. Mm-hmm. Do the sports cars have to watch out for the bulldozers? Yeah. Oh, they do. <laughs> Everyone has to watch out for the bulldozers. Oh, that's great. This morning, Matt, thank you for tuning in this morning, brother, man. Like this is a whole new, this is a whole new level of thought, but it's relatable. Mm-hmm. It's relatable. Like, like you can really take this and just really, write a whole book like you you could actually create curriculum from this taylor mm-hmm. right i'm interested to see where this goes nick if well, it goes you're anywhere the one that brought it up i know i know i'm no i'm just... trying to get them to join me on this uh-huh. okay mm-hmm. why not all right right just just making sure that your intentions are clear like <laughs> my expectations here y'all my people. expectations are if mm-hmm. you think this is a good idea then let's have a second conversation about it gotcha and maybe and maybe and maybe get a whiteboard and put a plan to it and see 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 if it's worth. Now here we go, right? This is this is this is where the idea either happens or doesn't happen. Is it worth the investment? Okay, and in and learning, and is there a profitable ROI on it? Is it is it something where great where we, we we you created and you distributed and great we we help some people or is there a way to actually create money from it? Mm-hmm. Okay, because at the end of the day, fu- I'm just gonna speak about myself. Me being a dad with three daughters, household to take care of, a business to run, people to 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 bring with me. It's funny because I I didn't think this way till <laughs> I'm late thirties. And my forties now is time is so precious. If it's, if, if either, either, either you're investing, you're, you're resting, Ooh, you're investing, you're resting, or you need to be making money. Okay. Either, either you're investing time into your family, into your kids. You're, you're, you're going down that direction. You're resting, you're recharging, or you better be, you better be grinding. You better be making that money. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's it. That's it. There we go. I love all the that's comments. Good, I list, yeah. Right. <clears throat> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Thursday. Where are you on your big three? I don't even know if this is even in the camera right now. So I'm just going to hold like right in front of my microphone to make sure it does it get in the, in the camera. Great. All right. So <laughs> there we go. So where are you on your big three? Are you, 
Oh, so yes. Yeah, so gifting, I would definitely put gifting would be part of my investing. I just, that's Nick. I like to think in threes. So yes, g gifting would go into my big three, but that would go into the, the investing part of it. Um, where are you on this? Okay. Hopefully you're, you've, you're, you're done with number two. You're going to finish number two today to get started with number three. Why? Cause you know, tomorrow I'm going to tell you to leave early of your big three of your big three mm -hmm. of your big three, get it done, get it done. And you want to, if you can get, if you can get number three done today, then tomorrow you can do some more planning. And here's, and here's, here's why you're going to need to do this next week ends Q, 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 I'm going to say Q4 next week ends Q1. Okay. You just skip three cues. <laughs> I know. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I t time is short enough. Okay. That was hilarious. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So where are you on that? You go ahead. And if, if you have the full focus planner, or if you have another planner that that's built by quarters. So this planner is built. You're supposed to get one planner for every quarter. Okay. Go ahead and start working on that next planner. Figure out your flow. Figure out your your daily routines. Figure out how you want the next quarter to go. Mm -hmm. And hear me on this, okay? Plan, plan time with your spouse. Get that in that book. Plan time with your kids. Get that in that book, okay? Yeah. And then plan your plan time with God. I missed that. Rewind time with God, time with spouse, time with kids. Get that in the right order. Thank you, Ernesto, for teaching me that. Mm -hmm. And then get your work put in. Okay. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are you moving towards? Okay. A man, what is it? A man picks his direction, but God guide, but God will guide his steps. Right. That's what you've been saying. I, you, I'm going to have to find that verse to make sure I'm not mm -hmm. getting, it. I'm, I'm saying that right. So I'll look it up after the show and you want it tomorrow morning. I'll actually open with that. Have I been saying it right? Or have I been saying it wrong? And if I'm wrong, I'm going to call myself out. Why? Because you guys are my family and I appreciate you guys. And I enjoy you guys joining us every morning. Okay. So thank you guys for being in the comments. Thank you guys for liking the video. Thank you guys for just being part of our, of our family of choice. Yes. Thank you. So with that, make sure that you rise up and crush it. Bye y'all.